Hello everybody and welcome back to another safari adventure. I find myself back here in Zambia and I thought I would document and make a video about how to travel to a remote safari camp. Tomorrow morning I will be heading into our most remote camp which is King Lewinika Lodge in Lua Plain which is over in the west of Zambia. There are only a couple of flights per week to get you into that part of Zambia so I've been overnighting here in Lusaka but tomorrow our journey will begin. So I'm going to show you guys what it's like behind the scenes when you travel to these remote parts of the world. First of all, I think it's time to get some rest before a pretty early start tomorrow morning. One thing you definitely want to make sure about with regards to your luggage is that these small flights normally have like a limit of about 15 kilograms per person. So when you've come off an international flight, which could be um, 30 plus kilograms, you just got to make sure that you have paid for that extra luggage on your smaller domestic flights. I'm just getting ready now. I should be getting picked up from my driver, Calvin, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll be heading out to the airport. So they have this brand new big shiny airport, um, which is what I arrived in two days ago. But what I didn't realise is that they're still using the old airport for domestic flights. So we are heading back into the old airport now and we'll see if we can check in yet. It's going to be very, very quiet in here. Very quiet indeed. One thing which will be new for me today is that we're flying into Matamaneni, which is an airstrip which is about 10 minutes from camp. Um, I should have made this vlog a couple of years ago when I was last here. It was a little bit more exciting and dramatic. We would fly from here to Calabo and then we'd helicopter the last 20 minutes into camp. But we have now laid, I think it's just a runway which you literally roll out onto the, onto the grass. And it's all safe and good for landing these smaller aeroplanes. So today we'll be flying all the way into the National Park, landing at Matamaneni airstrip and then getting a 10 minute vehicle ride into camp. We still have about an hour and a half to take off so I'm going to relax here in this grand armchair. So coming from a guy who's experienced in travelling through Zambia uh, making this video, I've just looked at my flight time. And my flight time is at 9.30 this morning and not 8.30 this morning. So I could have been in my bed for at least another hour this morning. It's now two hours until departure. So it's probably about another hour until check-in actually opens here. Fantastic stuff. There's another tip for you. Always double and triple check what time your flight actually departs. Still, at least there's loads to do at this airport. It's actually not too bad because uh, on two occasions in the past, I have had nine hour layovers in this airport. So an extra hour is not gonna be too bad. I've got my laptop, I think I'll watch some series or something. Okay, so that is me all checked in now. No dramas at all. It's about half an hour now until takeoff. So just waiting for the flight. It's gonna be exciting to get back up in the air. Well, as we head towards Lua Plain, let me just give you a few facts about the National Park itself. Basically, it's around three and a half thousand square kilometers of endless horizons and huge skies. And during the rainy season, this area becomes a vast open floodplain. And time and tide, King Luinika Lodge is the only lodge in the area, which pretty much means we have this whole wilderness playground to ourselves. Yes, boss. 
time, eh? <laughs> well, Ella, we meet again, eh? You're still here. Yeah. <laughs> And here we are. I have arrived at my remote safari lodge. Uh, that was just a quick video to show you guys some behind the scenes on what it's like to travel to these remote locations. Uh, I'm sure I'll be coming up very soon. I'm going to be here for the next three weeks, so I'll be bringing you lots of small short vlogs um, throughout my stay, depending on amazing sightings we have and any other ideas that I come up with. I'm going to go and grab some lunch now, grab a quick little siesta, and then we're going to head out for afternoon game drive. If you liked this video showing some behind the scenes of Safari then please drop down, like this video and also give it a comment. It'd be great to hear some of the places that you guys have also been on Safari. And more importantly, if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos then click that subscribe button and click that notification bell as well. Thank you very much for joining me on this Safari adventure and I shall see you very soon on the next one.